Hello and welcome to Titanic Toad's tutorial on the Heroes of Might and Magic 3 map editor. So, you probably won't be able to see too much here since the quality on this is pretty bad, this recorder as it is. So, I'll just try and describe it mostly so you can actually understand how to use this. It's not one of the most difficult map editors to use, but you can't quite do as much with this I mean, compared to the Warcraft 3 or some other things. So this little blank page in the corner is how to start a new map. You, you get whichever version you want. I just go with Shadow of Death since the latest expansion I've got for Hall 3. And then you choose your size. This is really actually really small. Really, really small, like 10 minute game small. This is decent size, this is big, and this is just enormous. So I'm going to go with a decent size map, so it will take less time. Then you can generate a random map here to start with. Water content is pretty clear. Monster strength, pretty clear. Number of players, human or computer. Generally, just set this number of maximum number of human players possible. Uh, if a human isn't playing there, they'll be filled with computer player. And this is just computer only, so you could go four and four, so you could have maximum number of four humans playing. And then teams, human computer one versus computer only one. What happened? Yeah. So, I'm not actually going to be generating random map here. I'm just going to go ahead and start. Now, as you'll notice, every time that you create a new map, it just starts with a bunch of ocean. So, the first thing you're probably going to want to do is go to this here, this little square of squares, the train tool. Take that and use whichever brush you like. And then this is just a selection. And then whichever train type you like. I'm going to go with the swamp here and make a kind of swampy island in the center. You just drag it around. It doesn't exactly fill as much as it says it does since, um, well, it's in the middle of the water here. And it just kind of works a little differently. I'm going to try and make this look like an actually real island here. There. And just put in some more rivers. Right. Next, um, I'll just work on this small island first. This is a demonstration. Next, you're probably going to want to decide where the players start. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the towns here. Then you can just drag out a town. There's all nine different alignments plus a random. And then properties here. General, you can have it belong to a specific player. I'm going to have this player be the third player because being tan is annoying and I want to be annoying to my players. <laughs> so then you can customize the name or just leave it as one of the random names that it will assign to this place. Um, after that, you can add in a visiting hero of a certain class. And Death Knight, let's just put one Straker. Edit, can't quite lag. Oh. There. Then you can edit this guy completely, so you could give him 50 Archangels and Master Necromacy. Next, in the garrison, you can just customize it. Formation is spread or grouped together, spreading out to cover all the spaces. Customize it. Um, you can just select any creature at all in Home 3 here and put in any number. I'm going to leave it empty since this is the castle, the town that the player will start with. Buildings. Normally, you can just choose has fort or does not have fort, or you can customize it fully and select what they are not allowed to build. I'm going to make it so I can't build some of the better things here, and put in, let's see, spells. This is selecting spells which must appear in the mage guild, the level one. You can only select a certain number which must appear there. 
five. And then these are all the ones that may appear if your selected must appear. If you only selected four in here, the last one will be random from this list, or if you don't select any, they'll all be random from this list. This goes by any level up to three, the max level of the Mage Guild of the Stronghold. Fortress. Sorry, that was... that's a fortress. I get confused between the neutral towns. Next, you can add in timed events specific to the city. It will occur to the player who owns the city. So, event name, um... Let's just call this event name... Actually, we're going to cancel that. Find out buildings does no. The hydropon does not require the wire from this. But, um... Sorry about the lag here, my computer is a bit slow. So, add an event name, Hydras, and other monsters. You and your nulls have... Let's rephrase this. The gnolls who have been laboring extensively for some time have finally retrieved the last last of the plans to create a hydra pond. This morning I finished digging the pit and the portal was sealed. This isn't exactly, um, quite logical here. Basically, I'm just setting up a bit of a storyline. You've had your nulls digging for a long time. And, um, can't get that out of the way. And they finally managed to dig the pond and create this portal to summon up the hydras. So, um, I'll finish this sometime later. Resources, this is gonna take a bunch of your ore away. Just say 10 and gold too. To finally fill it in. Complete it and then a bit of this for for summoning reasons. Just like the Mage Guild requires a bit of everything. For magical purposes. Buildings, it constructs the Hydra Pond. Creatures, add in three extra hydras. Okay, now I forgot to edit this and finish this up. And then I will add in later, I can just do the same here. Buildings, add in the wyvern nests also, and add in wyverns ready for recruit here. So that's what you can do. You can also make it um, so you can like earn double income sort of. Not quite, just give extra money every week. Um. Right, so that's how you deal with a town, add in heroes to it, give it to a specific player. You can also select the player up here for an object that you're about to place. Next, you're probably going to want to flesh out the rest of this island here, and so you'll want to use this, the obstacle tool. Actually, all the rest of these are working on the train, really. Add in the rivers, so you can create a little thing like that. Except that looks far too artificial, so you need to make it windy and not too windy, otherwise it'll double back on itself and look strange like there. Use the eraser tool here. And then this also creates paths, so um, I'll just have a dirt path here. No. Oh, okay. Winding about down here where we can place a shipyard later. In the